Onivia. League of Legends highlights. Powered by ArcaneBet.com. Bet live on eSports. Lead and how much of an advantage it is. But in terms of team fight, I feel like HUK have a pretty big advantage with the amount of overall crowd control they have. Snuck his way in behind H2K. Oh, all in from Jay. He's gonna get punished. Body slam. Jez is moving forward, trying to lock him down. Good damage comes in from Reckless. Eye of the Storm gives him a big boost. Brox is gonna body slam him back. Jay is now in trouble. It looks like he will drop the heel. Comes out. Reckless. Flash forward. Jez is moving in. First blood for the Janna. And they were just waiting. The blast guns catch them off guard. Now Caps is the one that might be in trouble, but he's probably gonna flash. Four stack will get locked up. He's just gonna use the cleanse. Slow and steady on the Yankos. Lots of... Oh, look at the face of frustration there on Yankos. Specifically on Fnatic, but at least makes the TV even bigger. Package used. Shen all gonna be used as well. Caps running for his life. Good damage comes in. The follow-up now from the Shen as well. Yankos is set to burn. Another kill fired out for Fnatic. They lose one of two towers. They're trying to get a kill mid. Moving in, CC goes down. Cap's gonna get locked up, running now for his life as Yankos tries to follow up with a little bit more damage. Rockets from Febivin, looking for the size step. Caps is done, though. though. Odawamne gonna snag that one. So finally, HGK get a successful punish. Pretty well in terms of the early game, and now HGK, they're investing a gank up top. Right for Proc, double bounce. Knock up, taunted, knocked into the wall, and taken down. Actually, nice pickoff comes in from HGK. And there's no way for Fnatic to truly punish. They are. on top side. Okay, here. Ooh, good nice interrupt, flash out. Reckless looks like he could still be okay. Nar coming in on the backside. Now Fnatic could potentially look to turn. So many cooldowns already burned, but in goes the board. In goes the package. Reckless still alive and well. Doing what he can to keep moving forward in the fight. HUK retreating strong as five. So much damage, but oh no, he wants to turn it back. Nuclear still hitting the back line for free. Shed blocking what he can. The Reckless is firing back. Caps is firing back. Bevin is running for his life. He's looking to get the bounces. He's looking to keep it going. He wants to go to Worlds. Fnatic in control. It's a huge team caps, of course, after winning that mid lane. H2K just tried to force a team fight. They didn't even have to go for it. They could just keep split pushing with Oda Amner, but they go for that all in. Forward. Jay can't do anything because Oda is back in base, so he's just kind of sitting behind Fnatic. All alone. That's going to be an inhibitor tower taken down. Inhibitor is next. This is going to be a big difference. Soaz is simply backing up. That's a lot of damage. Jankos is the last ditch ever from the fight. They are going to take down Caps. Che on the backside. It's going to get the three man knockup. Reckless, the most important target remaining. Knocked back into the team. Oduwamne trying to do what he can, but Reckless does so much damage. Soaz being in the front line. Jez is shielding him up. That's the double. He's looking for a little bit more of the trap. The saving grace for H2K. He's going to grab the triple. Fnatic are cleaning house. Huge team fight once again for Fnatic. They stop the comeback from H2K. There will be no reverse sweep today. And 23 and a half minutes, Fnatic are going to take the 3 0. And it was not choking for H2K. It was Fnatic proving themselves worthy of that spot in Worlds. It is the 3 0. It is the third seed. It is Fnatic. Back on the world stage. Fantastic performance across the board. It was dominance in game one and game three and game two. It was a comeback, I think, of epic proportions to feel good for the Fnatic members. The best team in the regular season. Struggled in the playoffs. Lost the semifinal to Misfits, then bounced back in the third place game, but had to go through the gauntlet here to actually make it to Worlds. Very, very important win for the players and the organization. But that tough road doesn't end now. They've got to go to the play-ins. There's going to be a lot of tough competition they will still have to get through in order to qualify for the world's group stage. It's important though that Fnatic have a superstar AD carry they can definitely rely on during the play-ins to try and qualify to the group.